We are back once again, guys, opening Shining Fates in the hunt for this Charizard right here. I need to own this card. I swear everyone is pulling it but me. Now, we're going to be trying to get that today, guys, in these. This is a case of Shining Fates mini tins. That's 10 tins, 20 booster packs, and the pull rates on this product have, like, been insane. But a couple of you out there have been telling me some horror stories about how you've only got, like, four pulls out of a case of these. So hopefully that doesn't happen to me today. But there's only one way to find out. Let's riff into it. Hey guys, my name's Matt Cully and welcome to the channel. So the eagle-eyed viewer may have noticed that there's not just Shining Fates here. We have these Galarian mini teams and the reason is I just kind of want to announce at the end of this month, I'll be doing a free box break on all of these mini tins here and I'll be picking five of my subscribers to take home the cards completely free of charge anywhere in the world, guys. I'm not going to tell you how to enter now. You've got to wait and find out later in the month. But if you want to get involved in that and also help support the channel, then drop a subscribe, ring that notification bell and uh, yeah, come get involved in the end of the month. Right, let's get these Shining Fates tins opened anyway and see what cards we get. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited. 20 booster packs of Shining Fates and we, of course, need last pack magic. I always pick a Charizard, and I've got to stick with that. So that's our last pack there, guys. Hopefully, we can get something good. Let's move these out of the way, and let's just get cracking into these. And do you know it's funny? When you start and you look at that pile of cards, your hope levels of getting that Charizard or the card you really want are super high. Like, I'm sat here going, oh, yeah, it's got to happen. But, like, the more I want a card, the less likely I seem to be able to get it. I don't know if a lot of you guys would agree with that. Let's just hope we get some good pulls today. And, you know, it'd be fantastic if we get the Charizard, because that's obviously the one I want. Uh, we've had some amazing Shining Fates openings lately. So, ah, no Shiny Vault and no Holographic. First pack, no Hollow. Damn. Charizard next, guys. Oh, man. Uh, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the nerves. By the way, if you get anything good off the code cards, come and join the conversation over on my Discord, guys. It's all linked in the description down below. It'd be awesome to have you over there. We've just surpassed 300 members. So, yay. Celebrate. No, honestly, it's incredible. You guys are amazing over on the Discord. And you've really been supporting the channel lately. Like, we're so close to 5K subs as well. It's, like, blowing my mind. Let's see if we get anything in the reverse slot. Wow, two in a row. And... Ditto V, we got the Ditto V card right there. Make sure I get that sleeved up. There you go, there's that Ditto all sleeved up. Once again, a massive thank you to Bulba Pro for supplying the channel with sleeves. If you want to pick up some yourself, by the way, he's been kind enough to give us a 10% discount code that you guys can use on BulbaPro.com. If you use code Matt Cully, you get 10% off. And on top of that, a percentage of like the profit he makes from any sales that go via my code, there will be money donated to charity. I was going to potentially like take like commission and stuff, but you know what? We decided it's money I'd never see and never was going to get. Let's give it to charity instead. So if you use my code, money goes to charity as well. So think about that and check them out and link down below. Right, next pack, Toxicity. Come on, we've got one good pull so far. We've got that one V card. Obviously, everyone in this set wants those shiny Vs. I've already got the Sea Croon. It would be nice to get another one, and I appreciate some of you might have noticed I said the name right. Sishwani! No, uh, let's see if we can get some more baby. I'm um, no doubt we'll get some baby shinies in this opening. Um, because there's more shiny vault cards than there is anything else. Anything just like that, one of his literally subtle shiny vault. And once again, the condition is pretty terrible. Did we get anything behind it? No, we did not. Next up, Corviknight. And so far, so good. What, free from... What the hell is going on? What's that? Three pulls from... Uh, three pulls? No, two pulls from three packs. That's not bad going. Why am I saying three? What am I getting stuck on that phrase, three? Let's see if we can go and get another one out of this. Let's go. Floatzel, Nicket, Sphinx, Cacnea, Horsey, Eevee, and... Oh, we got the a white Vettel Amazing Rare. So that is another incredible pull. And whoa, there's a big... I don't know if you can really see this, guys. But just here in the bottom, there is a big little bit of a shining... Uh, what do you call it? The hollow showing through there. Did we get anything behind it? No, we did not. Let me sleeve this one up. It's going well. Let's get on to the next one here. We've got the drag pole. Obviously, the shiny vault we really want, guys. We want that Charizard. You know, we need, we need that Zard. Um... 
I've gone a little bit slow on the old Zard front. It's like Darkness was the last one. I pulled an Evolutions one lately, which I already had anyway, but that was incredible. I actually sent it off to PCA to be graded because it had like memories, that particular pull of that Charizard. So I just wanted it graded. And oh, there we go. We got the full Art Shiny Vault in DDV. That is a big pull. Awesome. These are looking. The condition of these does not look too bad, actually. It's more the babies, isn't it? The baby shine is terrible. Do we get nothing behind it? Is this the most pulled card? Is this the most pulled card in shiny effects? That's what I want to know. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Question of the day. Is the Celebi the most pulled card in shiny effects, or is it something else? You let me, guys, know in the comments. Be interesting to see what everyone thinks is coming up. Like, Champion's Path for me was my Champion's Path. That seemed to be the card that everyone got. In this, Celebi is just the rare card that I seem to get non-stop guys what about you let me know right this is going well so far so we are kind of we're on that are we gonna get keep getting more or is this it I don't know I feel like there's more to come uh, there is obviously we still got a great chance of that Charles are some people seem to be getting it and getting multiple it's like once you pulled it once it's just like a bus they all come at once right anything Again, these pulls, man. We got the Toptricity Baby Shiny in there looking awesome, except again, some dinks. Do you know what? If you manage to get a 10 in a Baby Shiny from this set, I reckon they could be worth like a fortune, you know, because no one, and a Luxor Race. We've got two Arlos there, but like no one is going to be able to get a 10 in these cards. Just the condition's terrible. So if you get one, wow, God knows what people would pay for a 10 on that. It'd be, it'd be nuts. Another Toxtricity. Can we keep these fire pulls going right now? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, we only want one big one. Actually, I tell you what. I want Ball Guy and uh, the uh, Poke Kid, the Eevee Girl one as well. That would be really nice. And I think, obviously, everyone wants Skylar. I think I did pull that one already, actually, now I think about it. Um, right. Horsey. Eevee. Choodle. More Pico. Yanmar, anything in here? Nah, Jim Trainer. We did get that full art lately. And a Luxray holographic again. Back to back Luxrays. Okay. On we go, on we go. And this is going very, very well. Uh, again, can, can we get the big one? I wonder if it will, like, because Champions Path have almost like given up on pulling out Charizard. And I look back on the money I've spent on like opening packs and wow, like. I could have bought the cards to be honest, but you know, where's the fun in that to do that straight away, right? But uh, by the way, if anyone's interested to know where I managed to get this, I got this off Griffins Gamings. Well worth keeping an eye on there. Gossip Fleur on reverse hollow. Anything? A Delmise V Max. A Delmise V Max. So we got a V Max in this. That's good. The pulls keep on coming. Yeah, so uh, Griffins Gamings. Really, really recommend those guys uh, if you want to go and pick up your Pokemon stuff. Along with TCG UK, a Pokemon guy. And uh, also Asda at the minute, guys. Asda gets, is getting a lot of stock in. And I think it's because they're owned by Walmart. So they get a lot more stuff than the other supermarkets. So they're the ones you want to try out if you want to try and get hold of Shining Fates. Right. Come on. Thwacky. Spinarak. Grookie. Snom. Trapinch. Is this the reverse? Top trick. This, I love. Top trick is one of my favourite. Let me Pokemon. Absolutely love this. I, I'm very happy to have that card. Look how cool that shiny Toctricity looks there. That looks absolutely awesome. Did we get anything behind it? Dreadnought. Nothing behind that. But that there. That is a fire pull right there. Got to get that one sleeved up for sure. And it looks pretty damn clean. There's a little curl in that bottom corner. You can't really make it out. I don't know if you can, but slight curl. But all in all, it's a pretty clean card. So that is probably my favourite pull so far. It's going to be that. That's it. Yeah, Toxtricity so far. But we need to keep winding up these pulls. Guys, I'm sorry, but actually, I'm sitting here looking like this is insanity. Look at these pulls. The two full art bait, uh, two full art shiny cards already, and we're what nearly halfway through or about halfway now. This is this is very good. This is very good indeed. Indeed. Gossy Fleur, Eevee, Nick it, more Pico, Rowlet, anything in here? <sighs> okay. <laughs> wow, okay, so we've got a Barrascuda, uh, Baby Shiny in there, and do you know what? No, oh, no, no. <laughs> For a minute I was like, what? No silvering, no, but actually, all around there, all around the side. Did we get anything behind it? No, we did not, but a very nice pull nonetheless, and they just keep coming. 
This is insane. This is insane. Come on, guys. Let's see if we get 100 likes for this video. The pulls as they stand alone. I could kind of just like end now, couldn't I? And that would be like crazy good pulls. But of course we're not going to end now. We need to keep going. We need that Zard. I'm keeping positive. I'm feeling good. It's coming. The pools are being kind to us. Hope they carry on. It's not going to just drop off. More PK. Eevee. Rowlet. Sphinx. Okay, here's the reverse slot. Nothing there. And, okay. Is this the beginning of the end, guys? Totristy. Oh, man. I'm really liking that Totristy card. I'm just looking at it underneath there. And I'm like thinking, that is a really cool pool right there. And uh, let's, let's sacrifice an energy card. And, oh, we have something, guys. Uh, yeah, we have something. And I've already, okay, I've got, I'm getting distracted now. Cameron, Thwacky, Sphinx. Can you see that? And I don't think that's the last card either. I think that's a shiny vault card. Oh, my God, two Indeedies. What the hell? Oh, my, and a Cameron V, a double packer. What? What is going on? This is crazy. Bam, check them out, all sleeved up. And uh, we've still got plenty of packs. Let's have a quick look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more booster packs, guys. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh my God. This is nuts. I'm like shaking actually with like these pools. Like, look at the way I'm opening these packs at the moment. There's that code card there, guys. Right, I hope your code card pulls are going just as well. I hope you guys are getting good pulls on Shiny Fates. I appreciate it. It's super hard to get hold of Shining Fates right now. Um, but you just got to be, you have to be on it at the minute to try and beat like scalpers to the punch. Like literally, it's so, it is really tough. You know, it, and sometimes it makes you feel bad sometimes when you manage to get in there first before people. But you're like, you just kind of have to beat at least someone who wants to collect the cards is getting them and not someone just sticking on Facebook at the moment they get home from our stuff. Right, Buzzio. And an Appleton. <laughs> what the hell, man? Anything but... And another Luxray holographic. Oh my word. Right, let's get these sleeves up. Okay, this is insanity, these pulls. The recap at the end is going to be crazy. And I'm just like checking now. Am I still recording? Yes, I'm still recording. Fantastic. Right, code card. Good luck with your pulls once again, guys. One, two, three, four. Are you enjoying this? Are you believing what you're seeing right here with these like pools? Um, what we've got still like six more packs to go. Oh wow, more Pico. Schnom, Horsey, Nick it. Ooh, Buster's order, any... Yes! Yes! Oh my, get in! I'm super happy about that. It is very off center as hell. But I still think I want to grade this for my own collection because this is just like a super cool artwork. Who doesn't love the ball guy? And do you not agree though, guys, that in the game, he should be, how he's got all the different, there should be versions of him with all the different Pokeball heads. Pokemon really missed a trick with that. But yes. Oh man, I'm so happy. That is awesome. This is, it's nuts. Like, what the hell, man? Thank you so much, Griffins Gamings, for having these in stock and allowing me to be able to purchase the case. Like, I'm feeling really, really lucky to be able to do this right now. Like, honestly, I am very lucky that I managed to get hold of them. And, wow. Are we going to get... Ooh, nothing in this pack. And a Frost Moth. Okay. Another pack. Another chance of that. Still no Zard, though. Still no Zard. Like, i definitely not going to feel too down. But I am now, like out of Shining Fates products and I don't think I can afford to buy any more. I've kind of gone very hard very early on buying these products. So it's probably unlikely I'll be able to get any more to try and get that Charizard. So, oh, for a minute. Oh my God, Center Scorch V Max. <laughs> what? This is nuts. Do we get anything behind it? No, nothing behind it, but what the hell man? Center Scorch V Max. Oh, big dinks in that bottom corner. Look at that. Oof. Oh, well. Still awesome to pull. Um, yeah. Mad. I, these pulls, though, guys, is why this set, you know, if you are someone out there who's, like, you know, trying to flip the cards and buy the products, you, you're not, like, literally, look at the pull ratios you get from these products, guys. They're not, they're not going to be worth, you know, you're better off. Leave, leave them on the shelf, you know, if you're just going to, you know, if you're just doing that. Maybe just leave them there. 
you know, because I don't think there's going to be a lot of money in this set. Even the Charizard's plummeting down in price, isn't it? Uh, which is cool for me when I eventually don't pull it and I have to go and buy it. So hopefully I won't be paying the prices some people paid for it. All right, Rotom, Rusted Shield, Yanma, Horsey, Cacnea, more Pico, Tootle, is this the pull? Nothing there. And a Cinderance V. Three more booster packs to go. Oh, why am I opening them so weird today? Um, oh, man. Oh, this is so good. Okay. Can we get something else? Let's even get something in the last. I have got that last pack magic. Now, the Charizard won't be in the Charizard one, but ooh, nothing there. Anything at the back? Nothing in that one. Okay. <laughs> Will there be luck in the Charizard pack? Probably not. There never is. I swear it never comes in the pack art that associates with it. Other people are going to say, oh, actually, mine come out of that. But I always keep a Charizard pack as my last pack magic, and it's it's never as art like inside them. Right, Cameron. Oh, Thwacky. Ball guy, <laughs> we got the full art one of them. Snom, Spinarak, more Pico, Rowlet, and Bosch. Nothing there. Floatzel and Dreadnought. <gasps> it's died. Is this last pack magic? <laughs> Bosch gonna be the one that brings us the Zard. Come on. Come on. I, I can't afford to buy any more packs, guys. Please, please be in here. Please be in here. I want this Zard. I want to pull it. One, two, three, four. Now the card won't be in this slot. The card will be in this slot. So we're gonna give it a little tap for luck there. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get that Zard. Right. Lazio, Grookey, Nickit, Tootle, more Pico, Eevee. Ah, no, again, no Charizard and Dreadnought, nothing. The last pack magic, I told you the Charizard art lets us down, but honestly, I cannot be upset. Look at the cards we pulled, let's review them quick. I just want to confirm how many we pulled. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen pulls from 20 booster packs what the hell thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this opening i absolutely loved it if you did enjoy it do make sure to give it a big thumbs up let's get 100 likes on this and also if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button because remember that giveaway is coming up that free box break at the end of the month also check out some of my videos i think this side i might be getting it right stay safe and i'll see you in the next one peace